Hey everybody, me and Buster want to say welcome to Little Cahaba Junkin, where we share a whole lot of junkin and even more Jesus. Enjoy our video. Hey everybody, it's me Kayla Friday and welcome back to our channel here at Little Cahaba Junkin. I hope that you had an excellent 4th of July and you had a lot of fun and I hope that you're having a great week. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I've had a few people ask me about doing this and I thought it was a really cool idea. So if you don't already know, I do um, some online sales through Etsy. Um, our uh, shop name on there is Little Cahaba Junkin, just like our YouTube channel name. And I've really enjoyed it. Um, I've been taking a step back for the last couple of months just because we've had a lot going on in our family with my mom and um, praise God, she's doing better every day. Thank you so much for the prayers. Um, they have been heard and felt, and God is showing up big time for us, and I'm so thankful for y'all praying for her. Um, and like I said, I just took a little bit off and took down our posts or our listings, but now um, things have kind of slowed down just a little bit, so I am ready to post some more fun items for y'all. Right now, I only ship within the U.S. Um, hopefully soon, I'll be doing um, overseas shipping as well. Um, but everything ships through the USPS, um, United Postal Services, and you will pay shipping. Um, I don't pay for shipping myself or offer free shipping just because it would um, definitely cut into my profit. And I do this just as a little way to make extra money to kind of go out and continue junking for myself. This is definitely not a full-time job and there's not a lot of money in doing this um, unless you do it just hardcore all the time and you find just excellent deals. Um, because trust me, like I said, I just want to make enough to kind of continue my own journey of junking. <laughs> that way I'm not using our bill money and things that we need when I go out shopping and go to all these fun shows. So. I'm kind of just supporting my own addiction with this. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you each piece, tell you how much I'm gonna ask for it, and kind of tell you a fun way to style it. That way you'll have a little bit better idea of what you're buying. And then at the end of the video, like I said, you can go down in the description box and find um, the listing of our Etsy shop and a link to go there. So if you see anything that you would like, just go over and snag it and we'll get it out to you um, within two weeks. So um, usually it's quicker than that, but some items, um, depending on, you know, just what I have to have to ship it, I have to find a certain box to fit it. It can't be above a certain size and things like that. So sometimes it does take me, you know, a good seven days to get things shipped, but it will get to you in a timely manner. So without further ado, let's take a look at our Etsy shop inventory. Okay, friends, the first item available for purchase is this beautiful piece of ironstone. I love the detail. It's like a baby blue, and then it has the gold detail here on the rim with the really pretty floral there in the middle. And this is a stamped piece. You can see it has the crown pottery stamp. It's absolutely beautiful. It's heavy. It's probably a good pound, pound and a half, but I love it. It is perfect for spring and summer. It would be gorgeous displayed in your hutch or in your kitchen tablescape, any type of kitchen vignette. Absolutely beautiful. And I love that it has all the crackles and the imperfections. That is what I love about ironstone pieces. I'm trying to get where you can see it. It's just so pretty. I love it. Um, and it's about 15 inches across. So it is a really good size platter. And this will be listed for 14 US dollars. Love it. The next thing I have is actually like a set. I'm gonna sell it as a set of two. It's a really pretty piece of stoneware here. It's got the blue florals, a sweet little platter. It's about maybe 11 or 12 inches across. And then I have this really pretty bowl. They're not the exact pattern, but they're close enough that I thought they'd be really cute as a set. There are some imperfections. This one has a little brown area there, but it's perfect still. If you love vintage like I do, I think it just adds character to the piece. And this one does have a little chip here but um, these would be perfect for summer. I love pops of blue for the summertime and also the spring. 
but the set of these, and they're not stamped by the way, they're just unmarked, but they're both really cute. And the set of these is going to be 12 US dollars. I am just gonna go ahead and get all of the pottery pieces out of the way. The next item is this really pretty Homer Laughlin bowl. I love the little details there, the little scalloped edges, and it has purple and pink flowers. And there is the Homer Laughlin stamp. And it does have just a little bitty crack here or a little um, chip, but I love it. It's perfectly vintage and aged to perfection. I love collecting Homer Laughlin and I have several of his pieces um, from different lines, but this one is super cute and it will be $6. Like I said, I'm not trying to make a fortune on here, but I'm trying to make a little bit of profit while also being able to, like I said, buy more junk for myself. The next piece we have is this really cute platter. It is the USA, whoop, you see it, USA. I love the detail of the edges here. This one does have a little chip as well and a little discoloration but I love that. I love things that are imperfect and I think they just add to the overall look of vintage that I go for. Um, I think this would be a precious collection um, to add to your ironstone or your stoneware. Um, I have three of these. They're slightly larger than this one, um, but I have three of these hanging in our kitchen above our chalkboard. And I think that a stoneware, ironstone gallery wall of platters would be absolutely beautiful. But if that's not something you're interested in, just using it um, just kind of stacked in your um, hutch, in your tablescapes, whatever you wanna do, this is so cute. And it is $6. Okay. The last pieces I have are these two massive Homer Laughlin platters. They both have the stamp, they're the exact same. They're cream, but they have a little speckle detail that I thought was really cool. I hadn't personally seen that. They're in really good shape, so they would be perfect to actually use to eat off of. Um, so no chips or anything. Um, they're very heavy, very, very heavy, probably a good three pounds. Um, but the set of these will be, I have everything written down here, <laughs> la, 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 $12. So they're six a piece, $12 for the set. Perfect to use to eat off of or just to use around your house. Like I said, displayed in your hutches, kitchen vignettes, whatever you want to do. I love displaying ironstone. It's one of my favorite things to look for. Um, this is an ironstone, but... Um, some of the other pieces are, and I just love using it in our house. It's so timeless and it's beautiful and it just lasts for years. Next up, I have this really cute vintage bacon press. And look at the three little pigs on there with the bacon and eggs and the sunshine. It's so cute. I thought this would be adorable stage in a kitchen vignette. It's really heavy. Um, the handle's intact. It's just got a wooden handle, but I thought it was super cute. I love that. And it will be $8. So sticking to the kitchen theme, next I have this really sweet little rolling pin. Um, somebody has painted the handles red, but I loved it because I think this is perfect for Christmas or um, for 4th of July. So that's why I'm going ahead and posting it to the shop because um, I have one of these almost exactly like this in a couple of my kitchen vignettes and I love them. Is it vignette, vignette? I never know, but you know what I'm trying to say. But perfect, like I said, for 4th of July, for summer um, and for Christmas as well. And I love using rolling pins just in all of our kitchen displays. And this will be $8. Excuse me. All right, let me pull some more <laughs> of our stuff. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of finish off the kitchen area, the collection of kitchen items. Next, I have this really cool set of scales. It's the American Family Scale. It's metal 
and I thought it was so cute. It would be perfect staged in your kitchen. Um, if you didn't like this, you could, I assume, replace the face of it there. Um, but I, I kind of like all the little foods. I thought it was sweet, but it's in great shape. It actually still works, but I love using scales around our kitchen and I set like iron, small iron stone platters on it. A house plant would be really cute. Any type of seasonal decor is really cute on top of a scale. Um, so I don't actually use mine for the functionality. I just use it as part of our vignettes and I love it. And the set of scales will be $22. All right. Let's see. Okay. Just had to see what my price is. I'm trying to make sure I tell you the correct price. So up next, I have this cute little metal kitchen tea kettle. Um, I love the detail here on the handle. It's wooden with a little wooden top. This is adorable to use just to kind of sit out on your stove or in your kitchen vignettes, vignettes, whatever, <laughs> however you say it. I normally say vignettes, but um, I also thought, I mean, you could totally, I guess, use it if you wanted to. It's definitely old. It's been used many times, but I thought it would be really cool to kind of put potpourri in here or some essential oils and put a little water in there and stick it on your stove and let it bubble a bit and the aroma come out. So I thought that would be kind of a cool way. Use it almost as a little diffuser. Um, but like I said, really cute tucked in your hutch on your kitchen tablescape. It would also be cool to open it up and let like a little house plant come out of there, some seasonal flowers. There's no right or wrong in decor, but I love this little guy and he will be $8. All the last kitcheny item, I guess, <laughs> is this super sweet little christening cup. Um, lots of kids or babies got these when they were baptized or christened in the church. I used to have one of these that I would put baby's breath in and use it just in my displays and I thought that it was so sweet. So I found another one and thought I would share it with y'all. And it will be $5. Super cute. Okay, we have a few more items for this week's Etsy video. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do this like once a week or once every two weeks. Up next is this absolutely beautiful Webster's Dictionary. I love the blue with the gold. It would be perfect for right now for summer if you like patriotic decor. I loved it. It's so heavy. It's in good shape and it has that old library smell. <laughs> I love it. I love using old books um, just displayed all around our home. Um, I have some on my side tables. I have some on our faux mantle. I have them in my TV stand. I have them displayed everywhere around our house in our bedrooms. Um, I just think that they're beautiful. I even have some old cookbooks in the kitchen. I just love the texture and the vintage feel that comes with these old books. So this is going to be $7 and it's just so beautiful. I may end up keeping this one myself. <laughs> uh, next, I have this really pretty framed, ooh, it's got a glare there, as a framed picture of three hummingbirds. I absolutely love it. I'm sorry for the glare. Anyway, three beautiful hummingbirds. I love the vintage frame. I love how it's chippy. I just think it's so pretty. It would be perfect for like a spring or summer gallery wall. This would also be really pretty like as a bathroom photo because it's always kind of weird trying to figure out what to put in your bathroom. Um, I don't know why, but some stuff I just feel like cringy putting it in there, <laughs> like a portrait or something. But I think this would be perfect in a restroom, you know, just to kind of add some art or in a bedroom, anywhere. This is just a really pretty piece and it's very versatile. And um, the back of it also has a little piece of wire already attached. So it's already ready to hang. I think it's adorable. And it's, like I said, very versatile. And it will be $12. I think I said that right. Yes, $12. 
Up next, I have a trusty accordion rack. You guys know I love these. Um, I have them everywhere in our house. Um, I have one in our kitchen that I use to kind of display old aprons and um, dishcloths and like seasonal pieces of like the enamel wear. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Enamel wear pots and things like that. And um, I just think it's super cute for a kitchen. Also really cute for a bedroom. I always hang um, in our front bedroom there. If you've seen our home tours, I hang um, different types of shirts like uh, flannels for the fall, um, denim for summer, um, bags, uh, little tote bags like woven bags with some florals coming out of them. You can hang anything that you want on these. And they're so cute because you can use them for every season but um, you don't have to continuously put new holes in your wall. You can just change out the items on your accordion rack. And this will be $15. And the reason it's $15 is because I paid a pretty good amount for it and I do have to make a little bit of profit. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Next up, I have this adorable matchbox. It has a really, really pretty American, or excuse me, a uh, eagle on there. I was about to say American flag, but an eagle on here. He is so cute. Um, like I said, it is a matchbox, but it would be adorable um, hanging like on a gallery wall or just stuck somewhere and have some American flags coming out of there for the summer. That would be adorable or also um, some type of really pretty floral coming out of there. Um, you could hang or not hang, excuse me, stick some uh, candles in there. That would be really cute. Whatever you want to do, um, you do not have to use it for a matchbox. That's what it is. It would be adorable in a kitchen used for that or by your fireplace but you could use it for whatever you'd like. And I just kind of envision him on a gallery wall with some flags or some sort of floral coming out. So cute. And he is $9. Super cute. All right, we have two items left. So this is gonna be like the quickest video I've ever done. <laughs> so, um, we have right here a big bin. I love collecting vintage clocks and I have a ton of them. So I finally decided to part with a few. This one has a white face, super cute. And it is just for display use only. I assume you could get it working, but I haven't tried to do that. I just sit them around and use them in all my vignettes. I have used them in the living room, in the dining room. Um, in the kitchen. I've used them in the bedrooms. They're adorable everywhere. Just mixed in your vignettes. So the big bin is going to be $15. And then we have an adorable baby bin. So cute. I love him as well. Um, it has a black face and it is adorable. They would be really cute together kind of stage like this. I love to kind of stack clocks like that and make a little collage. And this one is going to be $12. Love both of those. Okay guys, that is pretty much it. Um, like I said, a little bit of a different video from what we're used to putting on here, but everything that I showed you will be uploaded to Etsy whenever this video goes live. So if you sell anything that you're interested in, um, I'll have, like I said, the link to our Etsy shop below in the description box. Head over there and snag it. I so appreciate your support. Thank you so much for being a part of the Little Cahaba Junkin family. Um, we are almost to 10,000 subscribers. I was blown away. I'm so thankful um, for all of our subscribers and our viewers. I just love y'all so much. And just thank you for following along with me and my family's adventures. We love to have a good time and just laugh and go junking and picking. It's our favorite thing to do. And just thank you for all the prayers for our family over the last several months. Like I said, my mom and our granny are doing so much better. God is so good. And um, I just hope that whatever you're going through, that the Lord shows up and shows out in your life and blesses you immensely and just continue to be a shining light. 
and continue to have a positive attitude and the good Lord will meet you halfway and he'll use you in a mighty way. Have a blessed week and I'll see you on our next Etsy video.